What I was struck by was their, their need for education and their, their joy for learning. Because when I was in school, you know, I was just getting medi above mediocre grades. So I was just getting like good enough grades to satisfy my parents. And you know, not really, it's not like I didn't care about school. It's just that I didn't really, you know, no one, no one really has a passion for school. It was a point and you know, where I almost like, it was like almost forgetting myself. I felt, you know, in a way like almost lost from like the culture. Though, you know, my father still plays African music, still, you know, preaches and all that. But you know, it's, always, it's one thing just to hear it. It's another thing to experience it. When I came back, I realized that that's, you know, people, if they had, oh, if they had it their way, they want a good school, you know? They want a school where they, they'll get opportunities and jobs and stuff. So I felt it necessary for me to do good in school, you know? If not for me, for them, you know? When I first got my good, like, A average grade, it wasn't really for me, it was really for my father and for my, you know, my cousins to see that I'm doing good in school. And then I started to realize that more and more and more and more. The elders are here this afternoon. Uh, coming from different villages, towns, from various clans, trying to come up here today for this occasion, basically. So here you can see a lot of arguments, a lot of opinion sharing, they disagree to agree, they are making strategies, coming out to suggestions and opinions, and uh, to get a very concrete, conclusive ideas that will make them succeed today. This is explaining that C is prepared to sign here for what C said, for what he has explained, and that he is proud to be part of this team, and he is proud to explain uh, the stories of you know, her brother, her elder brother, Khalifa Fina Kamara. And now she wants to sign to everybody present here that those words that we heard from her are her exact words and she's prepared and she's willing to say this words. <laughs> A woman might have one child, two child with them. One child, is, she doesn't know what the child is. I'm for a big man, they be for a small one, they be a big man, they be for a small one, they be a. The child calling her, but she is fearful. Why kill a man who won't be at all? I don't have many bear. When Musoni Bow and be for a big car, farm bomb a boom. If she responds to that child, that child may actually be, be maybe maybe used as a bait to get her to come out so that she can also not be kidnapped and subjected to all kinds of violence and such. Kapa mbo mbo wazi ogba ba no ni waro ye gba foko bulete erdo ya. Bule? Ah, waso kwarmen se ke gba ba ko ka ke bo ma. So you have people being caught in this situation of what to do. Can you imagine what's like to be in that dilemma, to be responding to things like that? That's what it's, that's what it's like for a lot of these people on a constant basis.